Today marks the two-year anniversary of the military coup that overtook the Canadian government. The Confederate States of Canada shows little similarities to the neighbors to the north we once knew. A vast reform has changed the country. Stricter censorship and harsher punishments has been pressed upon its citizens, and a massive advancement of the military has built up. Operation Purification is still raising controversy due to its alleged unethical and immoral actions. Each day, dozens of citizens who test positive for HIV and AIDS are being rounded up for atonement. The CSC refuses to give any comment on the treatment of these citizens, claiming that it is only for the greater good. The U.S. government continues to refuse cooperation with the Canadian government, a stance that political analysts are saying is quickly turning into a situation more tense than the Cuban Missile. I was watching that! Are they still going on about Canada? You don't think it's still important? Not really. What Canada wants to do with their citizens is their business. But they're killing innocent people every day! Well, when a massive AIDS epidemic wipes out a quarter of their population, can you blame them? Are you saying you agree with them? No, look, all I'm saying is their government is doing what they think is necessary to protect their people. Anyway. Uh, I can't listen to this. Related news. The search for a man being called the Scarlet Pimpernel continues. Surveillance and enforcement at the Canadian border has tripled since the vigilante's appearance six months ago. The CSC private police are doing everything they can to find the wanted man, promising a $10 million reward to anyone who can either find or provide his whereabouts. The U.S. government still refuses to help the CSC in the investigation, despite their pressure, as they now believe that he is, in fact, an American citizen. The Pimpernel has risen to superhero publicity due to his actions against the Canadian internment. Since his appearance, he has reportedly rescued over 200 people suffering from HIV and AIDS in Canada. While none of the survivors will come forward to speak openly about it, all have only said one thing. He saved us from certain death. The Pimpernel was named after the Canadian police. The Scarlet Pimpernel is a hero. For what? Imitating a character in a novel no one's read? He saved the lives of hundreds of people by bringing them to America before the Canadians get to them. Canada is a threat. Man, it's still funny. How can you not care? I'm not the ex Canadian. You are. Yeah. And he is saving other people. By bringing more sick people here. Some hero. At least we'll know who to thank when we get the AIDS epidemic. Oh. <sighs> the identity of this man who has eluded capture thus far. Only two questions really remain in the mystery. When will he strike again? And who is the Scarlet Pimpernel? You have one new voice message. Maggie, you've got to help me. They're coming for me. I need to get out of here. Maggie, I tested positive. They're going to be coming soon. They've already blocked my passport. There's nothing. If you want to see your brother alive, you will do exactly as told. Find out who this Scarlet Pimpernel is. Once we have him in our custody, your brother will be safe.